That was that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh wee mama. That was a bitch. <laughs> Betsy took quite a bit of mental and physical willpower to get to get to here. Now we just got nice packed bumpy trail back to the car. gonna put that in but it is pretty cool <laughs> Anyways, it's perfectly pink, so master shooter, master chef. Mmm, that was, was fucking delicious. I think you're exaggerating too much. Okay, then eat some. <laughs> Just kidding, it's good. <laughs> now, from what I've heard, most people generally don't keep caribou hides, and we weren't really planning to either, but I wanted to learn how to tan a hide myself, so we kept the hide. Also, the fact that we had to drag her about a mile down the mountain meant she lost a lot of fur in the process of doing so. So, I figured if I messed up, it wasn't going to be too much of a big deal, because the hide already was not the best. Now, the first step in tanning the hide is fleshing it, which means you're taking off any excess fat and meat that is on the hide. Then is salting. Now, <laughs> for salting, I've heard so many different varying things. I've heard just salt bath it, I've heard multiple salt baths, I've heard just salt it, I've heard salt it, then salt bath it. I, I was, I kind of just did a bunch of different stuff to make sure it was salt, well salted. So, I didn't realize it, but I applied way too much of the tanning solution because it's supposed to take around two to three days to dry, and while it's drying is when you're supposed to work it, but I let it dry for about a week, and the outsides were the only bits that were getting dry, so I decided to wipe it off and then start working from there. Also, dampening the hide is good because it makes it a little more malleable, so it's easier to work with, work it and make it softer, which I, uh, I had fun trying to find multiple different methods of working the hide to make it as soft as possible. As ridiculous as this looks, I found that jumping on the trampoline with it was the easiest and the best way to soften it. I also took a meat mallet and went absolutely bananas on the really tough bits of the hide.
but here is the finished product. I, uh, I think it turned out pretty well. It's really soft and nice. The hoodie is still very chonky, as you can see. It's pretty dang big, and you kind of, you kind of can't choose between hoodie on and hoodie off. It's kind of, it's kind of just hoodie on or, or uh, hoodie on. So, but yeah, it is very warm. I'll tell you that much. But yeah. I think uh, all we need to do now is test it out in the field. First things first, I'm gonna say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh, the way that things have been. Oh, ooh. Second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I can be. I'm the one at the same, I'm the master of my sea. Oh, like it's about that time again this has been a fun video hope you all enjoyed and next time we're gonna make a parka did you say floor gang